Look at this little creature, so adorable, so innocent, but it is harboring a nasty secret. You see, in this Mario level editor, this enemy can spawn bosses. And, it, and the name of this Mario editor is Super Mario Construct. Link will be in the description, of course. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, you should see everything better now. Uh, okay. Where was I? Oh, yes. Okay, everything fine and dandy until... Yeah, here's our first specimen. This little guy can throw boom boom. Mm, yeah, uh, look at that. It's just it's an on endless onslaught of, boom of flying boom booms and normal boom booms. And uh, yeah, just uh, see for yourself, uh, really. <laughs> the thing is, it's only one boss so far. The title says spawns bosses, right? Witness this, this falling catastrophe. Hmm, that looks different and... There we are, uh, uh, King Boo being spawned by this little critter. <laughs> it, even, it even has a, a fiery friends uh, with all the little barriers and... Uh... Hey, I'm not, I didn't say this level was going to be beatable, so... <laughs> all we can do here is to... is to smack down the, the, little, the little spikes. And I'll, I'll, let's see if we can actually knock down even one of them. One of these King Boos. Uh, maybe that one on top? Uh... Ah, it's a coward. Wow. I... I'm not sure if there's an end to this. Probably not, but... <laughs> so many fun... <laughs> so many wary boos. So many... <laughs> it's, it's a lot tougher than I envisioned. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got one! We got one, but it's... It died... <laughs> we got one! Ladies and gentlemen, we got him! <laughs> Beautiful. Didn't take it long at all. <laughs> but, it gets worse from here. Yeah! Oh boy! <laughs> Big Bean Bowser joins the party with a... Um, did you get a, did you get a 10? Yeah, it, mm, it's... Of all attempts I've tried to make him spawnable from the, the spiky, it always, it always... It only comes out in this color, in this palette, for some reason. But hey, uh, it's Bowser, and uh, a lot of Bowsers, this whole family. And all you can do is sit back and watch the, the hammer show, and the fireball show. And um Lots of, of little Mecha Koopas. None of the Bowser's here trigger an Evelyn event, so... Yeah, you can only uh, watch from here and... It's, it's technically impossible to beat. Yeah, that, I didn't make... I forgot to add a Gold Orb to come out from any of them, so... That is on me. So, yeah! It works! <laughs> but... We can go higher. This is also possible to happen. Okay. Wait for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just uh, an endless in oncoming onslaught of bosses. That is seemingly endless. And look at look at it. It's starting to, to lag. And yeah, there, there's just simply no end to it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you get the picture, and I don't. I highly ad advise against uh, to pr practice practicing it. But um, I was still able to allow this to happen. But how the heck does this work in the first place? Uh, quite simple, really. You sim simply grab a little spike right here, uh, place it around here, and then grab, grab boom boom, and bam! You can just simply drag drag uh, boom boom into it. And uh, the, the spike will throw the, whatever you throw at it. But if you try to add the two other bosses in this game, King Boo and Bowser, this, this method will not really work. However, there is an advanced method that allows us to do so, called code editing. Tricky was to simply place a normal spike, to throw the spike ball. If you want your boss to, to stick to a specific movements or attack, you have to define those before inserting into the spike. Here's the code editing method. Just copy the level code, 
for, for the coding aficionados, this is a level codes are JSON based. The way that this thing works is each each spike, each enemy and, and boss uh, in, his, in his context has their own assigned ID. For example, Spike is E89 and Bowser is BS2 while King Boo is BS3. We, these objects can, can be found separately in the code and all simply all you do here is copy them either King Boo or Bowser or whichever boss you select. You co copy this line, for example, this is what you'll find with Bowser, for example, everything inside this little square brackets, PS2, then these following values. Copy them and then simply paste them into whatever whatever's inside the square brackets following the C, which is the, the containing object inside that spike. In that case, it will be the spike ball, which will have its own identifier, but you simply have to replace the spike ball, which, whichever ID you copied from Bowser or, or King Boo. Simply go, simply go over there and, and paste it right here. For example, it should look something like this. C, the square bracket, and then BS2 followed by its pref properties. Just, just to make sure uh, every, uh, the hierarchy of the, of the square brackets is correct, and it should be good to go. This might not be a per permanent kind of thing. It is possible that will be a, a, a future bug fix or a patch that allows, allows us to drag bigger sprites inside sprite, inside spikes or other objects. But don't go beyond that one. So for now, this is the, on, the only way that I've found. It's possible for spikes to hurl Bowser and King Boo straight at you, regardless of what happens. And yes, you, as you can see, as you saw back there, I was able to drag spikes inside of other spikes that throw Bowser's or King Boo's, which is a uh, yeah, it is it is a um, obscure secret. If you want to, to mess around, uh, yeah, I only I only recommend using this for uh, abstract theme levels or otherworldly levels. If you abuse this, it can lead to eventual crashing, and uh, just no one will will enjoy having that when playing your level. So yeah, use this with extreme caution. This is what, 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 what my advice here. And if you're wondering, yes, this also works in the Super Mario All-Stars theme. Yes, to me one theme. Let's see it in action. And here we go. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it's not a very pretty sight. To be <laughs> Bowser is also able to knock down enemies. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Let's see if we... I mean... Yeah, we, we, we just beat the level. <laughs> However, with this little trick, the spike, spikes can also be a great ally, because they also can throw little mushrooms and fire flowers. Basically, any power-up that, that's inside the game. Well, I, this one is, isn't so supposed to be facing to the, to the left. Yeah, right, left. Yeah. Hey, thank you very much. See? It is definitely an OP enemy and an OP ally, which means it is a pretty versatile, one of the most versatile additions in, in the game. And this is one of the many quirky things you can do in Super Mario Construct. And as you might have guessed, it's one of the main games I cover in my channel, which I have personally created to help you make awesome Mario levels. That will be all for today. Peace out.